this white line, which is our opening position, and sit tight until it rises gradually up to this green line where we take our maximum profits. Normally we don't wait till expiration to take our maximum profits. We normally take our profits right around 50% to 60%, sometimes a little bit higher, depending on the current market conditions. We don't normally go all the way to expiration, and there's a reason for that. Normally in the last week of expiration, uh, before an option expires, there's a lot of things going on with that particular option that can affect our position. Also, price could be a risk. Depending on current market conditions, we could have a profitable pos position, if, but if we go into the final week of expiration, then the position may become unprofitable because of price risk. So normally we don't want to take those type of risks and we take the position off prior to expiration, usually seven to ten days prior to expiration. And that's not such a bad thing. And I'll tell you why, that nobody else will probably ever tell you, um, not any, anyone from retail investor, probably not any market maker either. <clears throat> I'll tell you this now, but you may not understand exactly what I'm talking about. But these, these uh, Greek positions, the Delta, the Gamma, the Theta, and the Vega, will change dramatically as we get closer to, towards expiration. In fact, Theta may drop off dramatically. Theta is the primary uh, profit producer for these types of positions. We want this theta number to be positive at all times. The closer we get to expiration, because we're doing a lot of out-of-the-money credit spreads and double diagonals, uh, there may not be much theta left. In other words, if there's not much profit potential left in the position, why keep the position open? Because there's only seven days left to expiration, the options that we've written are extremely low-priced uh, options. If there's only a dollar eighty-three of uh, theta left on a per-day basis, why take the price risk? Why take the risk of the price moving against you when there's only a dollar eighty-three of, uh, of profit potential in the position? It doesn't make any sense. It's just like it's just like a, a business that has a very low pr low uh, margin item. Uh, let's say you have to pay eight hundred fifty dollars to a wholesaler for, it, but you can only sell it for nine hundred dollars. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense to keep that kind of a, a product in your stock at such a high cost when there's very little profit potential in it. It's the same thing here. We only want to keep this position as long as theta is working in our favor. Theta is the rate of decline of the option that we sold. In this case, in these positions, which are live positions, we're collecting $31.37 a day in, dec in uh, decay of the options that we've written. Is if that continues to decline, then we do not want to hold that position any longer. It doesn't matter what our current profit and loss position uh, says at this point. Eventually, theta will catch up. So that's really our goal. Our goal is to move this white line up to this green line and keep our price in the center of our profit graph here. So, hey, enjoy these videos. You're going to find a way to trade that is unbelievably profitable that will serve you for the rest of your life because these principles do never change. I also want to show you what the current profit potential is. Like I said, we only do one or two or three contracts. Now, when you get to the position where you start to have a great deal of confidence in your abilities to not only put on, select, and plan your trades, but also to adjust them, then you can do as many contracts as you want. Like I said, we're only doing a couple contracts on each one of these positions. Well, you know, our profit potential is, you know, at this point right here, $1,289. And that's only one or two contracts. What if we were doing 10 or 20 contracts? Well, just add a one to that, add a zero to that. Now we're up to $12,890 in profit potential. And normally, we only hold these trades about three, three to four weeks. Now that's not a bad profit potential. This is how professionals trade the market as a business. They don't leave things to chance. They manage by the numbers. They manage their positions. And they adjust when necessary. And that's how money is made in the markets. There really is no limit to the amount of money that you can make. As long as you have the capital, you have the principal, you can make as much money as you want.
that's it for this introductory video. I hope you guys really got excited about this because it is a very exciting business to be in. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun in this course. The videos will blow you away. You'll learn stuff that you've never learned from anyone else. Believe me, I've been trading and investing for 20 years. And there's, it's, a, it's extremely rare that anyone has ever revealed these uh, types of trading secrets before because I've taken the $3,000 seminars, the $5,000 seminars, and those $20,000 uh, courses and seminars. And there's very few people that actually learn how to do these types of monthly income trades. It's extremely rare. But once you learn it, this is the kind of stuff that you can hand down to your kids and your grandkids because the principles will never change.